Hi everyone. So Leo's going to say hi to you right off the bat. If you're seeing this, then you're probably watching the replay. Um, I do not know why I've not shared this bit of information with you until today. Um, I actually am in the middle of creating a group for a Facebook party that I'm having um, this month. And as I was setting it up, this occurred to me that I had not shared this with you as of yet. Um, part of my background is corporate sales. So I've done a lot of sales in my life. It's pretty much all I've done is sales and marketing. Um, and part of that was doing a lot of coaching and training and receiving it, receiving coaching and training. And some of that was Franklin Covey. I had gone to Franklin Covey, um, I want to say back in 96 ish, 97. Um, but at the same time, I was doing a lot of corporate sales training at that point, And uh, we were learning a lot of things. And one of them was the psychology of color. There is factual scientific basis on what I'm going to share with you. And some of you may already know this, some of you may not. I hope that you find this helpful, but how do we apply that into our business um, with Sensi? Now, if you guys remember the Indigo collection, Sensi already knows what color can, in, in conjunction with fragrance, can do, right? It evokes all kinds of emotions, all kinds of feelings and thoughts and memories. Um, and so color has a very, very powerful place in our universe just like fragrance does. So here's a little tidbit. Um, one of the things that I learned was that there are certain colors or hues that actually invoke wanting to spend money. I know that sounds weird. Um, and let me find my... I'm on the wrong one. Hang on. Please hold. I actually think I went over it by doing this live, um, but that's okay. Um, Cause we're going to find it again. Just bear with me for a moment. Um, it's just a very interesting thing because we as human beings are really triggered by memory, by, um, things that make us feel good or make us happy or, um, there it is. Okay. Um, we're driven by emotion, right? So there are colors that will make you calm. There are cover colors that will invigorate you, but there are colors that want to make you spend money. <laughs> Did you know that? So the calming effect of cool colors like blues and greens and, and lilacs and pastels and that sort of thing, those are fairly calming, calming, um, but they also invoke trust. Okay. Um, people are drawn to much warmer tones like reds and oranges and yellows. Okay. So basically what happens if you look at the a store, like a brick and mortar store is going to have this kind of, um, presence. Some of them do not all of them have caught onto this, but some of them do. When you go to enter, some of the signs are going to be this vibrant orange, red and red text. See that a lot. Um, yellows, right? Those all invoke this, ooh, what's that, right? But then once you're in the store, they calm you down a little. They get you your trust. So you now you're gonna see some blues and greens, right? Those are the typical colors that people will actually spend money in because if they're ramped up and vamped up and hyped up with the oranges and reds and the yellows and the bright tones, they're going to, to feel uneasy. There's going to be a bit of untrust there, right? Um, 
so once they're in the store, they kind of say, okay, you're here, welcome. Be part of our family, spend some money, okay? There is a psychological connection with that. So this is something that I do. When I create my virtual groups, you have a choice of choosing color. Did you not know that? In the group settings, you have the ability to choose a group color. What does that mean? It means that you have the ability to make the banner, the buttons, those types of things can be a specific color. I always create the group with an orange, a red, or a yellow banner. Then, the day of the party, or once everybody has entered, maybe even an hour before the party, I'll go in and I will change it to blue or green. So, a couple things are happening. One, they've been invited in, it's exciting, let's go see what's in there, right? They're in the group, now they're here for us, and once the party gets started, it's almost like dimming the lights and saying, okay, you're here, let's have some fun. You can trust me, I'm here to help you, and we want you to shop. So I'll change the color. Um, the other thing that that does is it sends out a notification to the group people <laughs> saying that Edie changed the color of the group. And they're going to be like, what? Why? And they go and they check it out, right? So it brings them back into the group. It's just a fun tip um, with some psychology behind it. If you're not doing that, something you can implement, something you can try, right? Um, I'll show you real quick if I can do this on here. Um, when you're on mobile, on, on desktop, it's going to be a little bit different. But when you're on mobile, there's this shield right here. If you tap on the shield, it brings up the admin tools, okay? And in there, you're going to click on group settings. So when you get into group settings, then you're going to go see where it says color right there you're going to tap on that arrow and then you get to choose color. So when the party starts, I'm probably gonna choose either the bottom one or this nice teal or one of these greens. So it'll be either blue or green. It might even be this darker one, depending on um, how I feel that day. And then you click on apply color and it will change. I'll show you. <clears throat> see, see the banner changed to blue, whoops. The banner has now changed to blue. Now I'm probably going to try to find one that matches um, the warmer. So I'll play around with that a little bit. Um, but that is just a good little tip that you can utilize to help encourage people to attend your party and come to your group. Okay. Happy self distancing and quarantine guys. Um, I love you. I hope you found this useful. Here, I'll talk to you later. Bye.